Hello, everyone. Okay. He's busting out the big guns. Bar, could you really go for some coffee right now? I could really sip on some coffee here now, dude. <laughs> Yo, my packaging got... got bashed in. Probably because my coffee was too heavy. Just so you know, they're both the same thing. And let me show you guys, I guess the condiments. And everything else in the bag. Maple. We have our napkins here. Can't get enough of those. Alright. Signature ketchup here. Multiple utensils. And I think we have... Oh, what are these guys? I think they're butters. I think something leaked out. Wait. Okay, they gave me two. They know I'm gonna need more than two two things of syrup for this. Four. Oh, I thought there were four hot cakes. No, three. It's the thing on the roof. Alright, let's try out our coffee. This. I don't think that's gonna clear. I'll tell you what it says. It's for a total of 128 pesos. So that's about 106. Um, 
looks like a little over six dollars. I think it's nine dollars. Nine fifty. Alright, let's try with this coffee, dude. I really need to get some coffee. Signature wrap. This is so it doesn't spill. Then Uber delivery. Wrap it like a good Christmas present. I actually haven't had a coffee. This is like this is like my first coffee in months. I got two different kinds. Um, one is with milk and the other one is with sugar. Unwrap it like a Christmas present with see through wrapping paper. I wonder what's inside. Yeah, it reminds me of like one of those videos where people have like a huge warehouse, like a huge like playground. And they just they just order like a bunch of toys and try them out. Alright. That's what it feels like. And they they go on adventures this time. So Okay. Trying out new products and new things that are fun. That's that's pretty legit. Okay, let's see. I'm open up the stack here. Oh, we got double caps, dude. I have a little cap right here. That one might be the milk. I think. Okay. This one came out with the cap. No problem. This one might be the sugar one. That one's way more hot. <laughs> Have you guys seen the video where like this this uh, lady was walking home with a bunch of like Walmart coffees, not Walmart coffees, McDonald's coffees? She had like three, three, four cup orders of coffees. Yeah, and the dude was like, "Are you addicted to McDonald's coffee?" And I don't know what she said. I think she said, yeah, I'm addicted to it. Said, and then the dude said, why? Because it's good. Yeah, let me see. It's okay. They both taste the same, but I think this one has the milk, and this one just only has the sugar. Alright, I'll take a little bit more sips, and then we gotta get to... We gotta get to the main course. From the looks of the pancakes, they're probably not gonna fill me up all day. So most likely I'm going to...
order something else. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe you guys decide? My condiments are really sticky. Something must be weak or something. Why'd they give me... Okay, but why'd they give me five ketchups? They gave me five ketchups. Two maple syrups. And then four... And then four butters. It's an awfully lot of ketchups. If you ask me... They like still I feel like they're kind of tiny. Maybe compared to like Denny's or I don't know. Let's take off the coffee. A little bit more coffee. I'm just to use it as a dipping sauce. So put everything on one side. Pancakes is really easy to cut.
I'm thinking back in the old days, <laughs> not older days, but I think McDonald's used to be, I think better, by opinion. I normally don't even get McDonald's. I prefer more of like, like Jack in the Box and Burger King. But, yeah. Cause McDonald's has been receiving a kind of bad rap. Like it's gonna be the better. But if they're still in business, then something can be. It can't be that bad if they're still in business after how many years. I mean, if you're that big, of course you're gonna have not so people rooting for your best product. Not kind of idea. Seems popular. smells like kind of old like it's been sitting out not in the cold but just like just casually been sitting there like just chilling like like just in a room like just a regular room that's what it smells like it does smell like better but it just smells like it's been just posted up for a minute not a minute, but for like, <laughs> or maybe a, maybe a whole shelf life. Okay. It's not intense by no means. And I'm not gonna say it smells bad. Because if it smells bad, I'm not going to eat it, but it just smells like it's been there for a minute. It's just been sitting there, like, no refrigeration, and then all the, all, like, like, everything in, everything in that room has been, like, I'm just going to say that it's just been sitting there. Really. It's very hard to describe, but it smells like butter for sure. Okay, let me, let me try that again. Okay, you know how the, you're supposed to have like kind of butter in the refrigerator? When you have butter in the refrigerator, or margarine, so, like to store it, you gotta put it in the, uh, the refrigerator. But not this one, this one has just been like sitting out in a room, like, um, what kind of temperature? Room temperature room. That's, this is what it's meant to be. Like. 
room temperature. Uh, so there's all there's all our bodies here. You know, all our uh, surface level. Coffee to kill off my taste buds. Okay, so the coffee with the milk is a lot more smoother. Okay, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try our. Oh, dude, I missed out on one butter. Here we go. It's the last butter right there. So you need a lot more. I feel like I have a lot more butter with an actual syrup here. There are a lot more shirts than butter here. So we have our first piece here. It's pork pancake. It looks just like a yellow fish. Yellow fish. Right. Put it in here. I'm just gonna just rub on. We're just gonna rub on the bottom of it. Put that in the syrup. Maple syrup definitely carrying it. Maple syrup definitely carrying it. Carrying this meal right now. <clears throat> as soon as I as soon as I taste it, I immediately taste the the maple syrup. I was like, yeah, that, yeah, that one, that hit. Dip it in some more maple. Put it in here. Trying to get the perfect view. Oh. Oh, let's try this. Okay. We, we want to try it with just the better this time. See how it tastes. Because maple syrup definitely carries this weight. Let's 
understand. The butter doesn't really do anything. I guess the butter makes things like the last dry. Pancakes? Pancakes are alright, but I think generally pancakes, there's not a whole lot you can do to make it like spectacularly stand out compared to like other foods, like an egg, like eggs, omelette. But the pancake, pancakes are generally just really simple. Just really simple. So I'm not gonna knock on my pancakes. But they're they're okay. They're I can't like like I said, like I can't like give spectacular ratings for pancakes. Cause in general they're they're just there's not too much to them, you know? Yeah. Like they make a 10 star pancakes, 10 star, 10 star, A plus S, S rating pancakes, you know, never, never heard of that, never heard of that. Pancakes should be more of a, like a side thing, or like just an ingredient to it, like a bigger meal. Yeah. But I think since, but I, I think since how they can make you like kind of full, ish. I think because it's of its fluff, fluffiness, it's it's been made for like a, a main entree. Due to the fact I think it, it fills you up a little bit. Yeah. A lot of it maybe. The only thing that really stands out is just maybe just the maple syrup. And that's just like like you could you could just buy maple syrup from a store. Not not too spectacular. Like like a brand deal with McDonald's or something. Yeah, I go yeah, I go to McDonald's because they only have this maple syrup. Brand deal exclusive to McDonald's. Yeah, I don't think it's like that. And like I was saying earlier, we're definitely running out of this spectacular maple syrup here.
work. Once, once you run out of this maple syrup, you may have to revert to ketchup. <laughs> well, and the butter is not like... I'm not really wanting to put butter in my, in my pancakes for some reason. It doesn't add too much flavor into it. It just makes it like, it just makes it a little bit more, more lub lubricated. So the pancake is not as dry. That's what this butter shape is. It's definitely not for the taste. Yeah, it's definitely not. Right. We're, we're running out of shape. Since we have it, the amount of stuff won't use it. This is bad. I'm like, I'm like, like scooping up the syrup here. And we still got like, like four, four pancakes left. <laughs> It's more, it was more sad than not enough syrup to put pancakes. Especially when the syrup is pretty much the main taste of this. Hold on, if you gotta, you gotta do at least two. At least two packets of syrup. Per container, like one, one thing. You guys seen it, right? It's like one of these for three. It's not working unless I put like one little dot, one little dot per per slice per one one size piece like this. Not gonna work. Right. So maybe put like two. Yeah, I'm starting to taste like the non syrup. Pancake side. Right, we're gonna flip it over. Because maybe uh, the syrup has gone to the bottom of the pancake. That's where it's gone. Okay. And my hypothesis was incorrect. It has not gone to the bottom of the pancake. It just only touched the sides of the pancake. <laughs> I 
You may have to break out the ketchup, guys. But this one has this one has a decent amount of syrup on it. I mean, butter on it. Like how do you, you guys tell me, how do you guys would feel when you guys run out of syrup for your pancakes? Oh. It's gonna be difficult to get through, I'm telling you. It's gonna be difficult. I've been talking to going to McDonald's on the street. I get one of syrup. I'm not finished with my pancakes. <laughs> but to fix this problem, just put like two, uh, two, two maple syrups for one. Um, for one, a set of pancakes. I think that would be sufficient enough. I'm being honest, I'm feeling quite moved <laughs> by this situation. Alright. Worst comes the worst? Well, yeah. I had no choice, dude. They gave me. They literally gave me more ketchups. And syrups. I'm not sure. It's salsa. It's not it. My apologies. And maybe not be ketchup. It's, it's salsa. Salsa. Cat. 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 Also ketchup, ketchup. Apparently, it was very okay. For two, for two packages of maple syrup, for six pancakes, the math, the math just doesn't even add up. I just me, me just hearing that. Oof! If I was you, I had my, my blood would be boiling. If I, if I heard that equation, two, two maple ketchups, two maple syrups, for six, for six pancakes. That's a harsh life right there. <laughs> Okay. Hard five.
This life is harsh. It's harsh life. <laughs> the maple syrup tastes so much better. Harsh, harsh life. New, new, new episode of Harsh Life. Pancakes, pancakes with, with ketchup because no syrup. It's gonna be like an anime series. Just, just literally, just what happened right now. Halfway eating pancakes, we ran out of syrup. <laughs> This will be my last bite right here. Harsh life. So we still have a, a full pancake. And a Gibson Moon pancake. Left. As always guys, thank you for tuning in and watching. Um, McDonald's, if you're ever watching this, which you guys should be, I'm going to tag you guys in it. It will be more proficient if you guys put two, two syrups per, per set of per set of hotcakes. They don't even call them pancakes, they just call them hotcakes. Well, till then, you guys let me know when, uh, what restaurants is good. Maybe I'll, I'll order something and um, we'll eat together. See you guys.